perfect school environment for me is a place where children get to create their authentic voice the way that they can. So what, when you said that instantly, I'm like, outdoors. Okay? So I think that children need to move more. Um, I think that they need to be in an environment where they have all the tools around them that they can access when they need to and that they have this incredible um, guide, which is a teacher or in, in Māori language is a kaiako, um, that helps as a f on a facilitation level of going, okay, so you've got this passion, you've got this skill, you've got these things that you're really interested in, let's see what we can do with that. So uh, an, uh, an environment for me definitely is having a huge aspect of being outside, learning from nature, and then also bringing that in to how they learn and inside too, because, you know, children want to be inside at the same time, and making sure that the environment is balanced so that technology is part of it, but it's not at the foremost. It's about choosing technology that works for the children and works for the place and for the concept. You know, we do eco-passion projects, so children will come up with an idea and they'll want to follow it through. And sometimes they don't want to follow it through, so we have to let it go and be flexible. And I'm like, oh, it's such a good idea. You want to keep doing that. But that they can um, have those tools that they need, whether it's a, a tools that is a hammer and a nail to complete the project, or when our children are sort of over the age of 10, starting to bring technology that can really pull that out but not just using it because it's there. So it's actually having a broad range of things that they can access in the environment that helps what they want and what they want to learn from their heart. So it's not just coming from an academic space. Um, so for me, the perfect learning environment is where each individual can get their needs met by their own exploration and curiosity and that we stand there and we're kind of observing and watching and making sure, okay, this is how it can work. And at the same time, we help them with what they need. So there still has to be literacy, there still has to be all those aspects, but that you're taking it from the child and you're expanding it in a metacognitive way. So, yeah, I, for me, the learning environment is super important because it's, you know, it's your third teacher. So there's a lot, I think, when you, in that question. Um, but that, for me, is, is what's important. So just making sure they get outside <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. <laughs>